Assalamu alaikum. My name is Shamsuddin Muhammad, uh, Unimap student. Uh, thank you, doctor, for your wonderful lecture. Uh, leadership at whatever level can play an important role towards uniting its followers. So, Sorry, brother, I cannot what? hear you clearly. Can you put the microphone on top? You are going down. Now. Put the okay. microphone on top. Yes. That's it, mashallah. Okay. Yeah, uh, my question is that... Slowly and clearly. Okay. My question is that leadership at whatever level can play an important role towards uniting Sorry, its followers. I only heard the word leadership. Can you speak a bit slowly and more clearly? Leadership yeah. can? No, yeah. what I'm, my question is that what lesson can leaders both at national community or whoever among us find himself in a particular in a particular leadership position what lesson can we learn from the great leadership exhibited by our noble prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in terms of how he related to sahaba brother, brother can you make the question short you are saying so many sentences okay my question is make it my two sentences oh, yes. leadership leadership the community leadership. Say my, short and clear, yes. the answer will be this, brother. My question, Doctor, is that what lesson, what good lesson can we learn from the... What le lesson can we? Can we learn? Can we learn? Yes, from the leadership style, from our noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, towards uniting Muslim ummah. MashaAllah. Simple question. He said, what lesson can we learn from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to unite the Muslim ummah? Brother, do you want me to repeat the lecture again? I gave a full lecture. What lesson can we learn from the Prophet to unite the Muslim Ummah? I quoted several hadith. I quoted more than 40 verses of the Quran. More than about 20 hadith. You want me to repeat again? Doctor, in terms of, uh, I'm talking in terms of relationship, how he related to Sahaba, how he, because at community level we have leaders, also, we may find ourselves in particular positions as leaders. So how can we relate within ourselves? As a leader, how can you relate to your uh, colleagues? How can you try to unite them? Or what? how can you uh, have a good relationship with them? That is my question. How can we unite yes. as a leader? Master key, Quran and Sahih Hadith. Is there any better thing than the Quran and Sahih Hadith, brother? Do you know of anything? I said this in my lecture, I said that again. The best way to unite any Muslim of any profession, whether it be a doctor, whether it be an engineer, whether it be a politician, whether it be a leader, whether it be a sweeper, it is Quran and Say Hadith. Who says that? Not Dr. Zakir Naik. Allah says in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 103, wala tafarruku. Hold to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. The rope of Allah is the glorious Quran and the Say Hadith. And Allah says, Allah say, and I told you that our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the believers unto one another are merciful, they are kind, they are generous, they are like one body. If one part of the body is hurt, the full body is in insomnia, spent sleepless and is in fever. So we can be united on the basis of Quran as well as Sahih Hadith. And if there are speciality, for example, if there are doctors, I will use the verses of the Quran talking about medicine so that he'll come more closer to Quran. If he's, if he's talking about leaders, then I'll quote to him about, uh, about the people that praise the beloved Prophet Muhammad If you know this, La Martin. La Martin, he was a Frenchman who wrote the history of the Turk. And he says that if you want to, there is, want to know the genius of a man and if three criteria are there smallness of means greatness of purpose with astounding results if these three are the criteria there is no human being who can come anywhere close to prophet muhammad peace be upon him if smallness of mean greatness of purpose astounding results if these three are the criteria no human being can come close to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam michael ashad says in the hundred most influential human beings in the world, he puts Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam number one. He says, many may object, many may challenge me, but there is no person who has been so successful in religious and security affairs like the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. George Bernard Shaw said that if you read 
the history of this man more than being anti-christ he should be called as the savior of humanity if you read thomas carlyle he wrote in the book heroes and hero worship number one hero prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so these are the great people who the world says when they did their research though they were non muslims they called muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as the best leader as the best human being as the most influential person hope that answers the question